Hi and welcome to the Wet Shave Cave, here for another Shave of the Day video with me, Barent. So, um, for those of you who are new to the channel, I do product reviews on shaving soaps, aftershaves and razors, um, specifically double-edged razors. So, um, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, I think it's about 115 days. Can you believe it? Um, I've been hectic busy. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I'm a teacher, an English teacher here in South Africa. And um, yeah, so the teaching has um, been keeping me busy. And um, I've recently started to become a radio host for our local radio station. So that's quite interesting and I really, really like it. So that's what's been keeping me busy, but I'm happy to be back in the game. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you are watching and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button down below. Drop me a like to show your support and let's get right to it. For today's shave, I picked a set made by Master Soap Creations, um, specifically for the wet shaving store in the US. And um, I'm proud to say that Master Soap Creations is local here in my country, South Africa. Um, Fernando, he's a top artisan. Um, if you know Master Soap Creations soaps, you will know it's top quality, well, like really, really top quality. So the soap of choice is Mospa. Now this is, like I said, a collaboration with the Wet Shaving Store. And I just want to notice or, or show this. The artwork on this soap is, it's wow. It's really, really interesting. It looks so futuristic, actually. Now, this soap is um, based on Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. So, um, Oh, just look at that. The scent on this is amazing. I can immediately smell that leathery um, suede scent. Um, I'll leave a description of the scent notes here at the bottom. And you can just check the picture of the cologne fragrance over there. So I'm excited to use this. Um, I've used it once and my initial thoughts was, okay, it's 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 okay it's okay i'm totally honest so i thought let's give it another try and i'm going to, I'm going to see what it makes the second time i think the soap has matured now perfectly and the scents are married into each other if you can if i can say it that way so um yes of course the matching aftershave splash comes in this nice blue bottle really fantastic this a really good skin properties which i really like there's no alcohol in this so there's no stinging or burning um so yes and a new acquisition to my um shaving razor collection um it's in this little box it's a bit beaten up you can see it, it has seen some years now this is a gillette single ring my first ever single ring and um now this specific one, I hope the camera focus on this, just look at that, it's beautiful actually. Um, the teeth or the tooth on this comb over here is slightly bent inward and this one as well, but it doesn't affect the shave. I've shaved with this before to test it out and it's quite aggressive, so just take note. Now this one has no serial number at all it's that has the thinner caps so it was produced between 1921 and 1929 so it's quite an old razor a brass razor and there's a slight crack there in the handle but if you find one without a crack you are really lucky 
because they are very, very rare to find um, without a crack or bent combs over there. So that is quite aggressive. Now I'm only going to do a one pass shave because it's so aggressive, but I'm gonna pair it with a feather blade. <coughs> feather blade, so it's really a very sharp blade. Um, I prefer the feather and the Schick blade and the Wizamet, um, the rhodium um, plated blade. So those three are my top three double edge blades. Now I'm just going to set everything up. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna use my trusty synthetic brush, the Sagrada Familia, a yucky brush, 24 millimeters knot, synthetic, nice little brush. Just look at that handle, it's beautiful. Right, so I'm going to prepare everything and start making my lather. Okay, so this razor is a three-piece razor. You open it or twist it open here at the bottom. So this part's come out and you just lift it up like that. Okay, so I've got my feather blade. Still brand new, so it's my first use with this blade. There you go. And um, I don't really like to over tighten the razor because the metal is a brass razor, it's very soft. So I don't want to strip it or anything. Um, as long as the blade just fits perfectly and doesn't move around, then it's, it's fine. Okay, perfect. So one pass only with this. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to wet my face and then I'm going to do a face lather. Okay, so just going to wet the brush. Give it a few shakes and then right into the tub, just loading the soap onto the brush. And um, if you haven't seen my other videos, feel free to check it out. Okay, not that much, I think that's fine. Okay, and I'll gradually add water as I need it. I just want to get the soap on my face first. Now we can start working the ladder. It usually makes a mess, so yes, it's nice. So, um, how have you guys been doing? It's been quite a while since I chatted with the shaving community. What's new? What's happening? What's your new razor acquisition or soap? What's your new favorite soap? I can just say this soap is really very soft. I can really feel it. It's very silky, smooth, creamy. And it still needs a lot of water, but it's already so soft and creamy. And the scent is starting to, to develop in this warm, leathery, goodness if I can say it like that it's fantastic okay so I'm just gonna pause the video finish my lather then we'll go right to the shave okay perfect some people say I look like Santa Claus especially my students okay so just wet the razor head a bit so now I'm going to start with the first pass and the only pass for today and I'm thinking I'm just only going to go um, with the grain. Wow, we just glides through those. <laughs> wow, that's really already super slick and smooth, eh? I think if one pass is perfect with this. F for me, of course, I usually do a three pass shave. 
uh, depending on the razor, my mood, and um, of course, what type of soap I'm using. Um, this soap provides a really nice cushioning, nice protective layer between the, the blade and your skin. I really hope my camera focuses because I've got on a new setting trying to test something out. Beautiful, beautiful. So um, I'm currently watching um, the Rugby World Cup, supporting my country, um, the Springboks, and um, actually a devastating loss against Ireland on Saturday. But it was really, it was a tough game, I must say. So... Um, We'll see what happens. Beautiful. I think the, the feather blade with this uh, the single ring pairing is perfect. Um, it's all you need, actually. So uh, yesterday, um, I actually, yesterday night, I played bowls for our radio station. We had a like a business team um, league thing. And uh, it was quite nice, eh? I really, really enjoyed it. It's been a while since I played bowls. Just trying to get everything over there. And I'm really impressed by the soap. It's really slick and the cushioning, like I mentioned, is perfect. And the scent is not overpowering, so be aware of that. It has a subtle leathery warmth scent, but I think with a splash, it's going to work wonders. Perfect, that's all I need. Ah, oh. beautiful. I must say the re residual thick, uh, thickness, slickness is amazing. Like I, I rinsed my face quite a bit with cold water and um, I can still feel the slickness on my skin. Wow, well done on this, Fernando, uh, the maker of um, the soaps from Master Soap Creations. Ah, oh, perfect. Ah, oh, see, I nicked myself there. I have a little bump there, so... Like I say, you can't get a closer shave than blood. Always remember that. Um, okay, so now it's time for the good stuff, the liquid gold, as I call it. The aftershave splash. Look at that. Beautiful. Now um ooh. now the scent on this 
it has a more spicier scent to me. My, maybe my nose is a bit stuffed up um, than the soap. The soap has a more leathery scent. I can smell the leather here, but um, it's a more. I can smell this. It's more spicier. Maybe like a raspberry, fruity. I don't know. I'll see with the the um, scent notes if there's anything about a raspberry or strawberry, something like that. Anyway, good amount on there. Oh, wow. Wow, it smells divine, really. I would say this is more of your winter scent fragrances. So, um, of course, it's spring here in South Africa and we're moving on to summer. I won't recommend using this on a warm, hot day. Maybe in the evening. It's a perfect evening scent for a good night out. Um, but I would say if it's a cold night and you go out, this is perfect to use. Oh, that's amazing. Now, yes, so my, my overall thoughts on the soap and the splash is really, I think you can't get better than this. Um, but I know you can because Fernando is always coming up with something new. Um, but is it worth buying? Definitely. Go get your Mospa at the wet shaving store if you are in the US or here in South Africa at Yucky South Africa. And um, Fernando will gladly um, give this or sell this to you. Um, I think it's actually sold out here in South Africa. Um, so get yours at the wet shaving store. They will, I hope they will have, if it's not sold out already, because I know these soaps, they go out so, so fast. Now, right, um, the razor, the Gillette Single Ring, like I mentioned, is one of my favorite razors, actually. Um, it's the open comb teeth there, makes it very aggressive. So it's a very aggressive razor, so don't um make a mistake when you shave with this and with the feather blade perfect one pass it's all you need my face is super smooth and slick um i can feel a bit of hair still when i go up but it's not that much so i'm actually quite su surprised i think if i did a, a second pass across the grain it would be a bbs without three passes so that's it for today's shaving review thank you guys for watching and please consider subscribing also go follow my social media links uh, my facebook page and my instagram account at um, the wet shave cave thank you guys for watching i hope you have a fantastic week keep on shaving keep those chins up keep on smiling goodbye